Hello all, Havoc here. Let's get ready to play some Space Engineers. Okay, for today's episode, um, we're going to work with the Kestrel and see about putting some doors on the side and see about putting some uh, doors on the back of the ship. Uh, as we talked about in our uh, episode from yesterday, um, wow, that's not going to work there now, is it? Um, man. Because that's like right where it needs to be on the body line of the ship, too. Um, maybe it's going to go on. The, maybe it's not going to go on the top. Um, so we talked about uh, possibly focusing on Jessica Strell and uh, getting her flight worthy for the sake of uh, travel. Um, I think that would be a pretty strong thing to do so we can get uh, the Kestrel ready to go do some raiding for one um, and secondly uh, if we do need to do a, uh, a world reset then um, we'll have uh, I'm going to work to uh, take the Kestrel with us so We put a lot of time and resources into the Kestrel, um, seconded only by the station, or, well, she is only seconded by the station. Um, I think the barge would be nice, but if I was to pick one, I'd say the Kestrel because of the versatility the Kestrel has over the barge, so... These things are awesome, so I, uh, oh man, um, okay, I need to empty first, <laughs> inventory is full, and let's see here, uh, I think the Kestrel gives us more versatility over the barge, um, so that's why I'm going to focus on taking the Kestrel with. Okay, so that's that. So now we need to... <laughs> really? Did I really do that? Oh, that's right, because <clears throat> when we were modifying the ship, there were a few things I didn't get, get, didn't get to, and some of the panels I didn't remove. So these were some of them, and as you guys know, this is not how I roll. <laughs> Uh, so we need four more of those moved. Um, I think I was putting them... Ugh. We have a hatch here, right? Yeah. Wrong oh, bud. Okay. Okay, so we're putting these over here. So we do not have room for four more, unless we put them like one, two, three, four, right here. We walk around them. <clears throat> I don't think that would look too bad. Let's take a look here. So put it like right here. I'd only do this three. That would be one, two, three, four. That's better. Sold. All right. All right, so we need to move those and put them over there. So I'm going to take care of this, and uh, I'll be right back on the other side of the cut. Okay, we're back. we put a little finishing touches on these here. Okay, so we got three gyros now in play, or four, sorry four gyros in place that we removed from the tail of the ship. So now the goal with this door is to make it big enough to where we can get the shuttles in and out. <clears throat> I think that's going to be pretty much optimal. Um, I think we're obviously 
not obviously, but I think we could uh, possibly modify the SISI to be able to manufacture the shuttles as well. Um, I think widening by two blocks, um, if possible, uh, would be pretty phenomenal. Um, I'm not sure, that'd be one more block, so that would put the connector there. So we'd still have a corridor to go around on the sides. So I think I'd be okay. We need to move the med bay to probably about here. So we stop spawning outside the ship. Um, Cause yeah, it's been rather bothersome lately. All right, so that's that. Um, so let's come over here and uh, we're gonna take a look at how we're gonna lay this door out. I'm pretty sure I wanna do uh, let's see, because it goes out two or three. I can't remember. Let's go take a look at the uh, the station door that we already have operate. <laughs> I don't want to smack into something again. <laughs> so uh, let's come over here. We'll take a look at this door and we'll see how it operates. And then uh, we'll go from there. So we got two and it comes out two, okay. So this comes out one, two each, okay. So what if we can bring, if that shuttle will fit through here. Uh, is that shuttle four wide? I don't remember. We don't have any. Um, the last one we had was the wrong version, so I harvested it. Um, I don't really want to spend the time right now to build one. So I'm going to go with, yeah, that's a big enough, and we're going to build it. So we're going to want to put four doors across here. doesn't really work too well uh, okay so I know what we're gonna do we're gonna do so they come down two, but we're gonna put two here so and then three across so they come out one and um, let's see here Come out one, two. Now, why didn't they make them come out three? I mean, it, coming out an even number really makes it difficult. Especially because the ship is built on not using an odd number. Okay, <clears throat> so I think I know what we're gonna do. Is first we need to grab that block, which is here. I think what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna put one here. Why can't I place that? Is it because it's not attached to something? Yeah, I need to have a block underneath it. Okay, <clears throat> simple enough. Our suit energy is running low. Okay, we grab some steel plates and some energy. Wait, 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 wait. We can do that right here. While we do that, I take a drink. some steel plates uh, 
why did it grab a hundred? Okay. So let's go run down these, make sure. Alright, so that fixed that problem. There. Small tubes and motors. Production. Alright, so it looks like we need to come up with some motors. That is not enough for it to begin operation, I believe. All right, so we need to go grab some motors. We can do that for right over here. At the terminal I never put back. So what I want to do now is I want to extend this one out. So let's put a button down. There we go, same one we used last time. The one we have to find that magical pixel. There it is. Okay. Open close. Wrong button. There we go. So that's that. Okay. So now we take out this one with some parts left over. Okay, so I'll pick up these parts and I want to check and make sure before we get too far oh, button, too far into this if this is gonna work for sure. So put this one here. Small tubes, construction components, and steel plots. Okay, so no small tubes. And we need computers as well. one out here small tubes computers and we still have motors so we're good um, let's grab some steel plates too while we're here because those things are kind of spendy So wrong button again. So that goes down. Okay, so let's go with airtight. 
I'm gonna go to door two. Actually, hold on. Okay, so come here. Now I'm gonna put this one on here and do it. Open, close. Okay. Boom, there we go. All right, so that's what we do. So now we'll take and put another one here. And that stuff can fall down there. I'm okay with that. Like so. Put another one over here. And that spot right there. More with small steel tubes. Come on. And these are a little on the spendy side as far as components go. Um, let's go grab all this stuff down here. So we're still going to have to figure out where we're going to put the doors in uh, on the top because um, I'm not sure where we're going to want to put those um, or well for the front of the ship I should say not the top. Um, so the goal oh by the way I want to take and put uh, one two three four five of those up here. I'm not sure how this is going to look from out here. Uh, because we're going to want to cut okay so um, for some reason my mouse went outside the game uh, we're going to want to cut this away hey there's our steel plates we need okay there's that that I want to cut this away So yeah, we're going to have to do some serious surgery to the back of the ship to get the cosmetic lines back. But I think the overall size of this door is going to make up for it. Um, we might not have, we might not cut this entire, I think this might be as big as we go. Um, and we'll put should be able to do this let's let's see okay so in theory we could have the door just go into this oh, it looks like that's gonna be the door there uh, I don't know I don't think it'll mount there Oh, it will go there. Okay. Um, we might just do that to where this part stays here. Um, I don't know. We need to get it done in order to really get an idea of how this is going to work. Um, could put just one and continue these all the way up so we'd only have these two top and bottom ones going up and down and the entire side pulling in and out um actually i think i feel better about that okay yeah let's make sure there's a block on the other side of that so we'd be like this Can't I place that there? Because this guy's in the way. Let's 
So it would go like this, like that. Yeah, this is this is how we'll go. And then the one in the middle will be it taken out. Did I do that one right? Yeah, I got it right. Okay. So that goes like that. Okay. So let's get all these supplies put in that we have on us. And then we'll uh, go see what we can go grab from the station after we recharge our suit. I'm going to need to move this chair to uh, fill that hole. Yeah, I'm still not sure where to put the uh, additional airlocks or doors, I guess. Um, proper airlocks would be awesome. Um, once we get this sealed up, uh, we're going to put in an air uh, filtration system and uh, see if <clears throat> the ship is airtight. If the ship's airtight, then that means uh, these doors here work as, air, actual, as, as actual airlocks. Which means we'll just make a couple airlocks with these. Um, so, yeah, we'll go with that. So we need some steel plates, which we have none in there. So we need some small steel tubes, steel plates. And so we need to also put in some more of these. So let's head over here, grab some more supplies. There we go. Um, we have no more small tubes, do we? Oh yeah, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and bring these over here. And then we're going to want to put these in. So we're going to take this one out so we can weld that one. There we go. And come around over here. Repeat over here. All right, so let's shape it up to look pretty cool, I think. Let's see here, what do we got here? We're gonna need small tubes. Okay, we'll grab those here in a sec. And we're back out of steel plates. So construction components, small steel tubes, and steel plates. As I'm not sure this is working, that's why I'm keeping you guys around for this. Um, Otherwise, I would have cut away by now and uh, <clears throat> just uh, shown you the completed project. But as I'm not sure this is actually even going to work, for all I know, these doors can all slam into each other and just be a pile of non-working mess here real soon. Um, for those of you who've been around for the series for a while, you know uh, I have a tendency to derp like that. So. Let's see here. Let's grab some construction components. Deal with an autosave. Throw those in there. Get these welded. And some steel plates are needed. Okay, so let's throw these back in here. Because we need the Kestrel to stay fairly well armed as far as resources go. So we're gonna throw these here. But as we were discussing, she's able to, uh, while she's out, to gather enough resources to keep herself sustained. So I think that's 
one of the cooler things about the Castro. Um, I see some steel plates, please. Uh, it's more versatile out of probably any of the other ships I've ever built. Well, I didn't build this ship. I totally just took credit for somebody else's work um, that I've utilized. I've never had... Oh, I missed the one in the top. What's it missing? Of course, small tubes. Great. Let's put that plate in the top first before we take off. All right, let's grab some small steel tubes and wire this door up. Did we take them all to the... I think we did. Tubes, yep, took them all to the Castro, so. Okay, so yeah, we're just needing that one door fixed and I'm gonna wire this up. Oh, two doors fixed. One more door could have been a, uh, a band or group. Three doors down, got it. Okay, see what I did there? Okay, so we're gonna throw these here, throw those here, and now we want to open. Okay. Let's retract that one. Air hanger door. Open close. That's that one. Okay, now we make a group. Air hanger door. That's all you guys, right? I was gonna say it as a, a uh, airlock, but it's not. This is not an airlock. Bam, there it is, done. That's pretty cool, like it. So let's get this moved. Poof. Yeah, let's just move it over here. There it is. Okay. Outstanding. So then we can just come over here. We need to apply that group to this button now. Groups, rear door, open, close. Now we need to apply that button out here. So probably right here will be good. Steel plates are needed for this. All right, we'll fix that later. Um, we want to look at a door. Oh, wait, we need to do the air filtration system. Let's see, how, how expensive are those things? Let's see. Air vent. Air vent. Mm, well, we're going to want it to someplace where we have piping. So I'm thinking right about here. Steel plates. Steel plates, construction components, metal grids, and computers. Okay. 
steel plates, metal grids, construction components, and computers. Okay, so we'll probably end up putting oxygen tanks and all that fun stuff on our system eventually. Um, right now I just want to see if this ship is capable of holding an atmosphere because um, I'm not sure it is. I believe that should turn blue. Hmm. Maybe it's because it's not connected to the system. So let's do that. So G. It's our good old fashioned conveyor block. Of course, I need interior plates for that. What was I thinking? Interior plates, construction components, small steel tubes. So, small steel tubes we have. We just need the interior plates. Okay. Oops, a little out of range there. Oh, nano small steel tubes. Hmm. I'm not sure if we have enough. Okay, we're good. Okay, it's connected, that's for sure. And it's on, Sean. Depressurize is off. Not pressurized. We need ice. Okay, so we're gonna go find some ice real quick and we will uh, be right back. Okay, so grabbed our buddy the turtle and uh, we came out here and sure enough, there it is. There's some ice. So we're just gonna grab some of this real quick. Um, we're not looking to like totally pressurize the system, but uh, I did wanna get some ice in and actually see if the gastrel is capable. Um, let's see, where's any more? Oh, there's a piece. Okay. And how much should we grab? All the ice. Okay, so we're gonna head back and uh, we're gonna throw this in the refinery inside the Castrell and then we're gonna see how how this works. Um, so yeah, that's how far out we came for it. Actually, yeah, we'll find it. I was thinking we should bookmark this with our waypoint system, but uh, I'm not too worried about it. Dude, ice seems to be pretty rampant in the game, at least it's a lot to believe. At least uh, you'll find it easily enough, I believe. Um, and we don't rely on it as of right now, so I'm still gonna. I'm not gonna go forward relying on it either. So I think if we're gonna be inside a ship, then we will pressurize our systems or have our suit on. Um, I think. Uh, Depressurization is going to be nice for when we start doing things like uh, uh, parts of the station. So, all right, so we're back at the base and just park the turtle up here. And let's slide him over here. Okay, let's go throw this in there and see what happens.
I have a feeling that uh, this system is not capable of being pressurized. So we did this on the grounds of making a bigger door, not pressurizing the cabin. So, okay. Now we should be able to come over here, throw this in here, and we will get oxygen. Is that how that works? Um, so, yeah, that totally didn't work. Okay. Um, so we have this, we have the tank. isn't even showing up in here. Huh, okay. Kind of at a loss, guys. Oxygen generator. This is what we need. We need this. We need this. Uh, where do we need it, though? Let's put it right there. Two large steel tubes. I know we have some of those over here. Why did I come all the way over here? Just so poor as a habit. I always flew to the same spot. So, because there's a door right there. There. Open this up. Throw in some ice. Um, are you making ice? I think we need to move you, maybe. Uh, <laughs> in case you guys can't tell, I have no clue what I'm doing. And again, I came over here. The funny part is, is I'm not building it over here. Okay, so you have ice connected to that on use conveyor system show on HUD air vent on so I'm thinking that our hull is not pressurized I don't believe it's these I honestly, where I think it is, is around our engines. Um, I think it's like... Uh, where's it? There's a couple spots where, you know, I think you can basically see through the side of the ship. And I think that's where it's happening. Um... We're gonna have to go outside to see it. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm just like right here. I don't think this counts. I think I think if we were to cut this open right here and look back behind there or maybe some of these, I don't think our system counts as being intact. I'm not sure. Um, like behind here, I don't think it is. I think it sticks out or here, like right there. See how that gap is? We have these gaps all over this place. And I don't think that gap is sealed. Um, not sure. I mean, I, I'm literally just, it's called a wag, a wild ass guess. Because uh, it's the best I got right now. Uh, you know, there could be one of these that's open, you know, that there's air <laughs> leaking out. There's those will do the same thing. Yeah, I just no idea. Be kind of cool if we had some like type of depressurization where you could see it leaking. I'm going to take this out. So this doesn't fix it. We're going to wrap it up here and uh, need more steel plates. That definitely doesn't fix it. Um, these doors sound like they're trying to retract still. So, yeah, I don't know... I don't, I, I just don't know. I do not be knowing, guys. Uh, I'm gonna have to watch uh, some more of the Keen software videos and see, you know, what they say about uh, pressurizing a system. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have to basically rewall this thing to get that to work. Yeah, because to the best of my knowledge, this, this system should be sealed. Uh, there's only a few places that I'm really concerned about, and I think it's like where the motors are, and that's going to be like, um, like back inside behind here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, guys. I have no idea what to tell you. All I do know is. That's a pretty awesome looking door. Um, for all I know, this is not working properly because I didn't set it up right. Inventory, yeah, it's not working. It's not making the ice into air. Uh, okay, let's try one more thing. Gee. Oxygen tank. Okay, a lot of large steel tubes. I don't know if we have enough components for this. Uh, we're gonna throw these away, put these in here. Some more of those, I think that's enough. I'm not sure. Yep, it is. Okay, so now we're gonna take this off of here. put it down here let's 
So this is an entire system in theory. On inventory ice. What? Did that just make all the ice? Oh, it looks like it made all the ice into air. So what's this thing called? This thing's called the ox tank, okay. So let's look at inventory. Does it show up in here? Oxygen generator. So we can't see how much is in the ox tank other than this. Hmm, that's perplexing. Ox tank on, showing HUD stockpile off. Filled 5.15%. Stockpile is off. Um, depressure is on. No, we don't want it to depressure. We want it to turn off. Okay, so we have no idea how to get this to work. Um, so I'm guessing it's somewhere between an improper hull, which we've compromised by making the Castrella what it is now, and um, not enough ice maybe, or I'm not sure. Um, several things I'm sure are all compiling together to make this not work. But in any case, we have a massive working rear hanger door. I am quite confident that the shuttles can fit through this now. Um, I think that's something I'm going to take care of here is uh, in these next episodes is to make sure that that is a thing that can happen that we can get those shuttles through here. Um, might see about reworking these angles maybe. I don't think I can. I think these, this is what it needs to be now. Um, doesn't look bad. We didn't change it too much. Uh, we can still continue the slope maybe a little bit. Not sure if I'd want to. I think I kind of like it the way it is. So uh, we're gonna wrap it up here now. Uh, need to fix a paint too. So uh, episode 101. So thanks for joining us guys. Um, Savic, have fun and keep gaming.